Okay, um, not having such a great hair day today, but we'll have to deal with it. So, uh, this is uh, obviously my car again. I don't know how many of you remember, but this was the first video I did, just showcasing my car and the door and how I get the chair in and everything. Um, but, and I did a video about my van too. However, I have not done a video talking about the hand controls that I use to drive. So I'm going to do that now. So I'll go back in and this here, when you pull this way, you pull back, it's for gas. You push forward and that is the brake. Now some people have a system where you pull back for gas and push down for brake, but this system of pulling back for gas and pushing forward for brake works much better for me. Uh, and it was actually recommended to me when I went to uh, Kessler Institute for Rehabilitation. I went there for driving lessons when I was about, I guess, 17, 18 years old, and this was recommended and it works really well. Now, I also have this thing. It's a spinner knob, which allows me to turn... Well, uh, let me actually just turn the car on so I can show you. It allows me to turn the wheel with only one hand. So, because obviously if I need this to do gas and this to do brake, I'm not going to be able to use both hands for a turn. So I need this to be able to turn with just one hand. The uh, spinner knobs are, I'm not sure about all states, I know they're illegal in New Jersey unless you have uh, a handicap permit and permission to use them. Uh, so, you know, don't go out and say, hey, that's a great idea, I think I'm going to buy one, because it may be illegal in your state, I'm not really sure. Uh, but I guess that's, let me just come out again. I guess that's about it for this video. It was just uh, this thing over here, the stick is pull for gas, push forward for brake, and then the spinner knob. And other than that, it's really not anything different. Uh, one other thing I should mention though is that even though the hand controls are in the car, someone else who is able-bodied can go in the car and use the regular uh, foot pedals just like they would in any normal car. So it's, it's really useful and uh, the adjustments cost around a thousand dollars if I remember correctly, but if you get a new car, some dealerships will reimburse you that cost. So be sure to check that out. Uh, it may not be the dealership, you may have to uh, send like a letter to Honda or Toyota or Ford or whatever it is, but some of them do reimburse costs. So be sure to check that out and I will see you guys next time.